Look at this. This is my bed. This is where I sleep. But look who can took over my bed. Look. Grandkids. I think he's supposed to sleep on my bed all the time. What are you watching, buddy? What man? What? What are you doing? Oh, hello. It's me. Are you Cosmo. comfortable? I live on the moon. This is Cosmo. Do you like oh, Cosmo? Okay. He thinks he's supposed to sleep with me every time I come over. Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday afternoon. I know I am. I'm waiting on my daughter to get the cooking. She cooked me a good breakfast this morning. But I want to make a correction on my first video. I said, if you couldn't get a ruler, to at least get this ruler. And this is the ruler I was talking about. I think I said it was six and a half across, but it's only six across. And it's 23 long. So if you can't get any, any other rulers, get this one. I use this one more than I use anything. But um, I'm going to get me a eight, a eight inch one. <clears throat> Another thing, uh, templates, I want to talk a little bit about templates. Templates, you can buy them or you can copy them out of a book. I think what I kind of, since my daughter got a nice uh, copy machine, I'm going to download some templates and have her to copy them off and make them. But I was watching my grandson play last night and he had, he loves letters and shapes. So he had these. In his little, in his little new uh, box he got yesterday, his mom and talked to his mom in the bottom. And look, the center of it comes out. Won't that make a great template? I'm gonna put it. Get you a scrapbook. You can get a little scrapbooks from Walmart. I think I got mine for like a dollar. Some of it was on clearance when school season started. But look at there. Ain't that neat? That is a neat template. And it's free. He'll let me borrow it for a moment. And I have to give it back. I actually have one of his little toys that I use as my wood knife. Um, wooden iron. Oh, listen to me. Wooden iron. Um, but I have a wooden iron. But I like the way he is to shape better. And uh, he catches me with it and confiscates it sometimes. But right now I have it in my possession. It's just packed up. One day he'll forget about it and I'll have it. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about some quilts I, I did. And, um, this is a quilt right here I did. I was in a guild. Uh, and this was a challenge quilt. And I decided you had to use, see the back of it? You had to use this material in the quilt. It didn't matter what you do, just as long as you use this material right here. So, with that... And I think, and I and I had to use this one too, this one here also. So they gave you these two pieces of fabric and you had to use them in a quilt. So I decided, I don't know if you can tell, but these are the uh, bow, uh, bow tie blocks. Mm. I think you, hopefully you can see and recognize I see it, it now that you say it. Now that I say it. Yeah. And see, I did a little quilting on it, uh, a little crazy quilting on it, uh, because like I say, I, I still have not learned how to do free motion, but I'm working. You can see it a little bit better on the back for my quilting. I want to look crazy. I call it look crazy. Uh, but you can see that a little bit better. That gives it character. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, baby girl. And another quilt I want to share with you. It's the one I told you guys on my video that Sandy had sent me this pattern of some somebody some sun bonnet suit. Sun bonnet suit. And uh it was uh from uh I don't know somebody told me his name was Sam. I don't know if they called him uh Farmer Sam or what, but his name is Sam, the little boy. So I'll step out so you can get a good a better look at it. And look. Kind of can't see it. Can you see it? Yes, I'm backing up. Okay. Okay, there we have it. This is my granddaughter's quilt. And I'm going um, to step closer and zoom in. And as you can see, I can't really. As you can see, I did a little crazy quilting on that. 
she liked these little bobby dolls so instead of making it a quilt i wanted it to be i kind of incorporated these little dolls in there to make it for her and then you got it mm -hmm. then i did the back she wanted this material on the back so i did that on the back for her but that is this is my second quilt i made uh the little the little uh, challenge quilt was my third quilt I made. So, see, I've been sewing a little bit, a little bit. Mm -mm. I got a visitor. I thought he would be quiet. This one here is a quilt top that I'm doing for my son. He keeps at me all the time. My mama <laughs> ain't gonna finish it. And uh, I ain't gonna pull it, pull it all the way out. Cause it's cute and it. Get out the way, look at me. Get out the way, little snake stink. <sighs> Come around and help me not hold it up. Come around, help me hold it up. Come around. Good job, good job. I can't reach. I'm too small. Me. Yeah, just stay right there. I'm just too small. Stay right there. Mm. There you go. I, there you go. You got it. Okay, this is a log cabin quilt. I guess you can recognize what this is about. And like I say, it's one of those quilts that I should have quilted as you go on it. And I didn't. So now I got to figure out how. I think I'm going to do it hand stitching. Uh, hand quilted. So that's his. My arm is tired now. <laughs> <laughs> that's his uh, quilt. And his was the fourth quilt that I put together and it's a UFO now. And if you hear the term UFO, I had to ask and, and uh, tease a uh, group one day, they kept saying UFO. I was like, what is that talking about? And I asked and they told me it's projects that you have started and hadn't finished. I think they should call it a USO, Unidentified Sewing Object. <laughs> Real cute. That's real cute. USO. So we, yeah. we call it a USO. Now one of my quilts. Not, not the professionals. <laughs> but anyway. And this is my quilt. And this is a quilt I told y'all I'm going to probably make y'all drunk. It's heavy, y'all. I'm not going to hold this thing long because it is heavy. I ain't it purdy. <laughs> Sorry about the little soldier. Yeah. And I'm quilting in it. As you, you may can see. See the little echo quilting I'm doing in it? Nice. Uh, I'm doing it on my machine, but it's such a heavy quilt and it's so hard to to turn around on my machine and everything. And I should also quilt it as, it, as I go. But the quilt goes this way. This is the way. <laughs> I had it sideways. This is the way the quilt goes. Okay. Can you see a good picture of it? Yes, I'm getting some good close up of your echoing. Oh. You can tell she's proud of her queer. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a firm believer. Hush, hush. I'm a firm believer and you should never be afraid of putting any colors together. Uh, like I told mom, when God makes a, uh, a garden, he puts all the colors in there that that he can come up with. He doesn't just say, oh, I'm going to do this in pastel purple. Now. This is the one I'm working on. And then once I get it finished, I'll finish up my son's quill because he keeps on bugging me about it. You can do his first if you want. No, nah, I'm, I'm going to finish what I'm doing. I got this. Now, this is a quill that... Um, my big mama! My mother, my grandmother made. And this is... I'm actually... If you can see right here... Can you bring it over here? See these... I'm actually trying to repair this quill. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so I'm putting some new fab. Um, grandson decided he wanted to be the star today. But anyway, this this part right here, you can tell these blocks are coming apart. Uh, they're all closed, you know. My big mama stitches. My and, big mama uh, stitches. I'm trying to repair it with um, other blocks. As you can see, some of them I done took out. Now tell them what Big Mama would tell you. Josie, throw that rag away, but I'm not going <laughs> to do that. I'm going to repair this quill. And on the back back here, I think it's on the other side. But on the, on the back, she's got a piece 
I should have had that laid out for y'all. I can't find it now. But as you can see right here, it's where pieces are coming apart. And I think I'm, this is where I want like Sandy and T and all them to kind of chime in and tell me, should I? Because it's another piece that's like worse than this. I just can't see to find that. Let me see the front of that piece again. Hold on a second. This here. Hmm. But it's a lot worse than that. But what should I do? On the back, it's not really hurt. Um, should I take and just put another backing on the quilt and and go from there? But you know, it's no problem replacing all these blocks. It's just because this is curved here, where she curved it. As you can see, that's part of it coming yeah. loose. I was saying I can't. I could patch that, but it wouldn't look good. So I. I'm mm -hmm. thinking, come on, people, give me give me some um, advice on this because I would really like to. So you kind of want to keep the integrity of the quilt. Right. I want to keep as much of what she did to the quilt. I just want to make it a little stronger because uh, right now I would be scared to wash it. I know my mom washed it and it's been packed away and it's 80 years old. And so this one mm -hmm. here. There's another one of her quilts, and it is a rag, and she would definitely have a fit if I was, she knew I was showing this piece off. But, as you can see, the only thing I think I can do to this is maybe try to save some of her blocks and re-quilt the quilt, period. Uh, the back of it is horrible. Tony, we loved on these quilts. Yes, yes. Child. They were made to you be loved, loved on that, honey. We loved on that. Be any problem taking the back off and redoing this? But what I find I got is some of the other material has been snagged and and oh, um, yeah. yeah ripped. So I could probably cut that block off. I may just take it. It's it's worth it to me to take it a loose and save you know, the blocks. You know, Ma, I wonder if there's some type of um, adhesive material that, that you can buy that you cut out, place it on the bottom, and iron that. Yeah, they got some. Okay. They do have some. But uh, it, it's not, it's real flimsy. The, yeah. the material has gotten thin over years of mm -hmm. washing. And, and let me tell you, my grandmother did her laundry in a black pot mm. over a stove every Saturday morning. I over an open flame every Saturday morning. And it was the, it was washed in lye the whole time she was washing this quilt. So. And I think I remember this material. I think this one right here, this was a, um, she used to put it on the cook. Or it was apron. some kind of, yeah, it was an apron or something. Probably. Yeah, she wore aprons too when she cooked all the time. But that's just a little bit of what I'm doing in this bag right here. I ain't showing y'all this video. You gotta wait. Come back and wait. <laughs> this bag has a lot of goodies too. Yay. Uh, yeah. But I hope y'all really enjoyed what I'm working on right now, what I have. I want to show y'all something else too. This is my iron that I use. Thanks to my lovely daughter. I know... As you starting out, you can't afford this iron. Because these irons are like 160 bucks. I think she got this one for $100 because she's a couponer. And she, I said I would one day and she bought it from me for one Christmas. But, you know, Walmart has some good irons. And uh, don't get hung up on getting a fancy iron right now. But that's my iron I use. And um, You and just that, needed to get hot. Yeah, you need to get hot and mm -hmm. you need to be able to to use the steam on it. So don't get hung up like, oh, I gotta have that iron. I like it because I can get to cut my iron off a lot. And uh, this iron lifts up. It lifts up uh, off of my ironing mat or my mm -hmm. ironing board. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted the iron because I'm I'm clumsy, I'm forgetful. My, you know, I have one of those brain farts, you know, you never know. But uh, I have left it on for a day or two. 
and I was out of town and I would think about it and tell my mom, go by there and see if I cut that iron off. Sure enough, it would be on, but it cuts itself off. So thank God for that. But I hope everyone is having a lovely sunny. Uh, it's sunny here. It's really sunny. I'm surprised of uh, the weather we're having. But it's sunny here today, and today is Sunday. Hope y'all eating a lot of. I don't think nobody cook no more at home. I think everybody goes out. I cook. My daughter loves to cook, so I never have to cook again a day in my life. We had peach cobbler pancakes, yes, sausage. We did. And we're about to have roast. Yes. Uh, but I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday today. And I really hope y'all enjoy my videos. And I really, really want to thank Sandy. This morning, Sandy, you just touched my heart. You know I, like, I watch your videos. As soon as you put them up, girl, I be stalking you. Just let you know you got a stalker here. I be stalking you, girl. And she put up a video this morning. I was watching her videos and she talked about my channel. She loved the name of my channel and she thinks I'm doing a great job. And I just, she just don't know. She really touched my heart this morning. Cause you know, I, as I've been telling y'all, I've been moving and it's been a little emotional for me. And just to know that somebody thought enough of me to give me a shout out this morning. I really appreciate you, Sandy. And you know, you my girl. Uh, and I appreciate all the help she gives me too. I actually thought she would give me some some kind of backlash criticism, and I and I'm open for that. I'm open for that because I do not know what I'm doing, and I want to learn. I want my channel to be because I hear what I hear in my comments. A lot of my comments is that I'm a self-taught quilter. That's what I am. And but I think I'm not going to speak out of turn, but. As I watch Sandy's videos, her she's learned to quilt from her mom or her grandmother. I didn't do that. So it's just, I watch Sandy do something. She does it like, oh my God, it's, it's no thinking about it. She just does it. You know, and I admire her for that. I didn't do that with my grandmother. I, she passed before I could sell myself down and, and learn some of her arts. But Sandy is awesome. And uh, girl, I love you. And and I hope you and Rick is having a good Sunday today. And uh, I know you got maybe have a grandbaby like I do. Uh, and I hope y'all having a real good Sunday. And anybody that wants to come on here and give give their comments, I love reading your comments. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the other beginners will love your input on anything. And like I said, the two quills that I'm trying to restore, give me your input. Don't think you're going to hurt my feelings as long as you're positive, giving us positive um, information. We will absorb it and we will we will learn from it. You know, we don't want anybody being negative or calling anybody names or mistreating anybody. But so far, I've been really blessed that everybody has left me a comment has been really pleasant and has really encouraged me so i want to thank you girls ladies uh you seasoned quilters you guys that uh may be watching my channel or thinking about watching my channel don't think about it no more come on y'all let's do this we're gonna sew together a couple of weeks i'll be able to sew and we're gonna have sew alongs and also my daughter is pushing me <laughs> to have have a live chat Look, I only got four videos. This is the fourth one, ain't it? Or the third one? Uh, fourth, third, third yeah. Third, third one, third one. We don't keep up with love. It just flows, baby. It this just flows. This will be my third video. She was like, today, Mom, let's do a live chat today. And I was like, no. We're going to have to wait a minute. So what we'll do is we'll do a live chat. Once I get my sewing uh, station back up and and start working on another blog, and uh, we'll do a live chat. I'll I'll let you guys know when we're going to do it. It'll probably be on a Sunday afternoon because I know everybody's kind of laid back on Sunday. And it won't be late because I want you to go to work. I don't want your boss being mad at you. But Yes, we'll call them sipping souls. Yes. So be before you do yours, soul. yeah, grab whatever it is you drink. Dr. Pepper is my <laughs> flavor. That's my poison. But uh, I like my coffee in the morning. The rest of the day, Dr. Pepper is my poison. She nursing one. <laughs> I nurse it all day long. One ball, I nurse it all day long. But anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed Sunday. And remember, just, you know what? I thought about, 
I don't know if you have older people, elderly people in your family that you just kind of forgot about. Go listen to their stories, you know. Mm -hmm. Just to sit down and talk to elderly people. Uh, people will sometimes lift your spirit when you're going Amen. through something. Just stop by your great aunt's house or grandmama's house and, and let her know how much you appreciate her. Over the years, I believe, I bet you, she's did a lot for you. You kind of forgot about because you're up and grown. And as the old folks say, smelling yourself. <laughs> and you kind of forgot about it. Just stop by and let them know that you appreciate them and love them and mm -hmm. uh, everything. I'm having a little hard time because you guys, I'm going to let y'all go. But while I was packing, I wear a ring on this phone, a gold band. Yeah, she's had that ring, gosh, for I how long? I think I've had it for about 20, 25 years. It's been years. a long time. Yes, my youngest son gave it to me. And while I was packing, I realized it was missing. That ring never comes off. Mm -hmm. But I was uh, packing up some little whatnots and, and uh, uh, what is that stuff? Saran wrap. Saran wrap. Kept getting hung on my hand. And I, y'all pray for me. I hope it's in those figurine boxes. And I, I couldn't sleep the first night. I missed it. Mm -hmm. But it's getting better. I'm going to find it. We're going we gonna to pray that I find it. But I'm once again, it's time to let you guys go. I ain't praying. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have me here all day. I'm going to say, God bless you. Bless you and your family. Keep you and just... We're going to saw something. Y'all get to saw one. Come on, show me. I don't I don't know if y'all can show me on my... You probably can because me and always sending me something through my email. Show me some pictures of what you're doing through my email. I'll make sure that my email is, is in my comments every time. So yeah. send me some pictures of what you're working on. I want to know what you're doing. Yeah, and we'll post it and uh, put their name. In, in state if they want if, you know if you want if you don't we won't invade your privacy okay but once again everybody have a blessed sunday and god bless you and your family bye-bye say hi <laughs> what are you doing waving your hand in my face <laughs> got this little ipad sitting up got some caramel popcorn i'm smelling over here smelling from Target. He loves like, popcorn. Look. And opening his candy. Uh-uh. Really? Alrighty then. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, no. Uh, I have one more trick. This candy belongs in here. It won't be safe until I get it all in it. Okay. And then you gonna say goodbye? Yeah, this candy won't open. Right, you look like you're doing a good job to me. You like Smarties? <laughs> yeah, Smarties. <laughs> say goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon. And hit the bell button. If you wanna, if you wanna play again, subscribe here. And if you want to watch more videos, subscribe here. Bye. And hit the bell button. And hit the bell button. So you'll know when I post the video. Yeah. Maybe thanks for seeing me. Say thanks for watching I mean, my video. Say thanks. Thanks. Maybe thanks for seeing me. Goodbye.